Anyone who travels routinely around Dayton is familiar with Ludlow Street, Wilkinson Street, St. Clair Street, and Wayne Avenue. Have you ever wondered where they got their names? Well, it's not an accident. Each of these streets are named after a historical figure in Montgomery County. A lot of the downtown Dayton streets are named for some very famous people from the Dayton area. To begin with, you may have driven on St. Clair Street. St. Clair Street is named for General Arthur St. Clair, the first governor of the Northwest Territory. And as you may recall, the Northwest Territory was basically the territory that today encompasses five states, Ohio, Michigan, Indiana, Illinois, and Wisconsin. And so Arthur St. Clair was the first governor of that entire area. And so he was a real leader in the early years of what became Dayton, and so he, you know, the street was named after him for that. Ludlow Street through downtown Dayton, named for Colonel Israel Ludlow. He was a uh, Revolutionary War hero, and he was part of the Ohio Land Company that ended up surveying much of southwest Ohio, including the territory that became the city of Dayton. Wilkinson Street, General James Wilkinson, also a Revolutionary War hero, and someone that really marshaled a lot of the forces first against the British and then later against uh, the Native American tribes in this Midwestern part of the United States. Wayne Avenue is named for General Matt Anthony Wayne, who today is famous because of his battles with the Native American tribes. He's really the one that made the entire southwestern Ohio area safe for settlers basically to be moving up north from Kentucky and west from areas like Virginia. Patterson Boulevard today, which runs through downtown Dayton, is named for John Henry Patterson, who was the co-founder of the National Cash Register Company, which people today know better as NCR. And the reason that Patterson Boulevard is known today for John Patterson is that originally the, the uh, roadway was originally a section of the Miami Erie Canal. And John Henry Patterson was the leading proponent of filling in the canal in the late 19th and early 20th century because by that point, people were using railroads and streetcars and, and other ways to get around. And so he was really the leading proponent to fill it in and turn it into a modern roadway. So that's why today it's named Patterson Boulevard. Now, there are people may also be familiar with Patterson Road, which runs through parts of Dayton, Kettering, and Oakwood. Patterson Road is named for the Patterson family as well, but not specifically just John H. Patterson, but the whole Patterson family which had settled in that area. Many people have probably shopped at Dorothy Lane Market. They probably have driven down Dorothy Lane. And the name behind that particular roadway is that John H. Patterson had two children. He had a daughter named Dorothy Patterson. And the Patterson family owned thousands of acres of farmland. And according to family folklore and according to the written documentation, the path of Dorothy Lane is where she rode her horses and ponies. So Dorothy's Lane became shortened to Dorothy Lane. Far Hills Avenue through Oakwood draws its name from the fact that uh, John H. Patterson had an estate which he entitled the Far Hills because at the time that he was building his mansion, it was really the outskirts of the city of Dayton. It was way out in the sticks, you might say. And so his estate was the Far Hills and the roadway became known as the Far Hills. And while we're at it, where did the name Dayton come from? The city of Dayton is named for Jonathan Dayton. And Jonathan Dayton was the youngest signer of the United States Constitution. He also was a general in the American Revolution. He was a delegate to the Continental Convention from the state of New Jersey. So a very, very notable figure. It may surprise people though that he actually never set foot on the land that became his namesake here, Dayton, Ohio. But he, along with people that are named for the many of the downtown Dayton streets like Israel Ludlow and James Wilkinson, were all part of a land holding company. And Jonathan Dayton at one point had titled over 250,000 acres of land between the Great Miami River and the Little Miami River. They believed that he had the best sounding name of the whole bunch. And so rather than having a city named Ludlow, you'd have a city named Dayton. And so today there are Daytons in 11 states. We're obviously the largest here in Dayton, Ohio, but a very notable figure. And it also may surprise you to learn that he served as the eighth president of the Continental Congress. So kind of a little, little known piece of trivia there for you.